Nothing broke. Very good. Very good. No casualties. Shot glass. does is it stops the glaze from dripping onto that part. So I'll just apply one coat, that's all you need. Just one coat. I actually get to, you know, drink out a and use some pottery. Should be nice. Excited. It really does. Right. I'll start throwing in the brown slate. Stormy blue. I know, bro. That one's gonna be sick. Rinsing off the whisk. Oh. Yeah, when you first get into that glaze. Yeah, it is. Ooh, that is nice, dude. It certainly looks nice. Tell me that, yeah. Rag too? Uh, yeah, give me one second. I'm at it for like 20 minutes on the glazing so uh. far. Just me, because then we're gonna sink it. All right, guys. Basically, we're here with the kiln right now, and we're trying something different. We are trying to ramp up the temperature a lot quicker than we normally would do on a a food safe or just a normal firing. So, before we thought about eight-hour firing, now we ramp the temperature up right away, and we're already at close to 600 degrees and it's been what 30 minutes 
30 minutes. So we're trying this out. We don't see why it shouldn't work. Raku, you can do a session sometimes in 20 to 30 minutes. And since the clay has been vitrified, 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 we don't see there should be any problems. So we're going to find out. All right, guys. So we are under the canopy that we made to put over the kiln if it rains. Um, we're closing in on a thousand degrees. Um, so we're definitely getting up there as of right now. Time. We got up to 2100 degrees on the kiln. It's hard to see, but she's still glowing. Oh. 